choices. The word choices were so dramatic and so pointed and none of them true. I mean, it, it was just so um, blameful and skewed. And I, commi I, I felt that she committed perjury on the grounds that, you know, you don't forget about firstly contributing to your own book. That takes a concerted effort. Um, you know, I wrote a book. You know what you wrote in your book. You know what you said. You know what your agenda was for saying it, what your beginning, middle, and end was, and what your point was. So to say that, you know, it was a mishap was incredibly wrong. And I, Oprah interview was chock full of lies. That with evidence in the media, and still it went in to the book. Still it came out in the court transcripts. So I thought, why is, why is she pushing this? Why does she so desperately want to paint a picture of me that I'm either A, not credible, or that I'm sort, some sort of dodgy woman? I'm her older sister in a wheelchair. Um, I, I think the goal clearly was to discredit me, to discredit my father, because then if we did speak out, we wouldn't have credibility. We were as normal and as close as would be reasonable for older brothers and sisters. You think to take that away from family or to diminish it or to mock it as if we weren't with her 24 seven and that that should make us any less her siblings is really wrong. It's really unfair that both she and, you know, the publisher and uh, Omid Scobie, uh, knowing that these things were not true, put them in there. They should have done some fact finding because you don't, mm. why, why would you say someone's been married three times, had you know three children from three different men? Why would you purposely make someone out to look of ill repute and dodgy? And I don't think that I should go down in history as what she wanted to paint of me as some sort of revenge. All of these little extrapolations saying I didn't know her, I was this, I was that, all that weren't true and that have been debunked, but they form a social perception. What did you make of what I would describe as a cringeworthy comeback from Meghan on the Alan DeGeneres show tomorrow, Sam? Um, you know, I got to say, there's a story behind that Ford Explorer, by the way. It wasn't a beat up old Explorer. Like, that was drama. Um, I, yeah, I think she just wants people to think she roughed it as an actress. She never roughed anything with our dad. He made, he, you know, he paid for her insurance. <laughs> her vehicles, her classes, he made sure she had just... Uh